In this video, I'm gonna share with you guys five tips that I use to shoot faster uh, when I'm on a shoot, either shooting for myself or for a client. Shooting faster means getting more shots and having more stuff to edit with, and these are five ways to do it. Welcome back, Pathless Peddlers, and if you're new to the channel, usually we talk about bike adventures here, but I also like to share video production tips I've learned over 10 years as a working photographer and videographer in this series called Video Ninja School. So a lot of the shooting I do tends to be run and gun, where I set up really quickly, get the shot, and move on. In cycling, there's this concept known as marginal gains, where uh, it's just these small optimizations that add up over time that make you faster cyclists. In that same way, I employ a couple of tips and tricks and bits of gear I use to speed up my workflow on production so I can get the shots I need as quickly as possible. So tip number one, starting with one of the most basic bits of gear that you can have as a videographer or photographer is the tripod. More specifically, I use tripods and monopods that use a flip lock system. I think over time, they're just so much faster to use than a twist lock tripod. Uh, I can open up one set of legs in one go, uh, you know, flick the, the tripod down, the whole thing opens up. And in the same way, I can collapse all the legs together and close all the locks simultaneously with one hand. So definitely using a flip lock over a twist lock really saves time over the course of a shooting day. So another thing I've changed in my gear to speed up my production workflow is actually moving from the uh, ubiquitous Manfrotto plates to the smaller Arca Swiss plates. This is quicker for a bunch of different reasons. Reason number one is, uh, you know, I shoot with DSLRs and since the Arca Swiss plates are smaller, they tend not to block the battery doors of most of the cameras I use. The Arca Swiss plates are also marginally lighter and the Arca Swiss plate is also a really popular design. Uh, it's what they use for the Joby Gorilla Pods for the Peak Design Capture Clip. So when I wanna move from tripod to a Gorilla Pod or a Peak Design Capture Clip, instead of unscrewing a Manfrotto plate and putting an Arca Swiss on, I just use an Arca Swiss plate now. Another piece of gear that I really love and use is these Peak Design uh, quick release clips for the camera. This allows you to remove camera straps from your camera super quick without having to unthread the whole shebang. It allows me to uh, either have the camera on the camera strap bandoliered around my body when I'm shooting, or I can quickly take them off, put them on the tripod, they're not interfering with things, or I can place the camera on a gimbal, again, not having the camera strap to get in the way. So I highly recommend them if you wanna speed up your workflow, uh, especially if you're moving between different types of supports and stabilizers. Another piece of gear that I love using that really speeds up my workflow are these magnetic uh, rings I put on the lenses so I can quickly swap out ND filters. So I know what you're thinking, why not just use a variable ND? I've used those in the past, but what I found is that when I you know, crank up the ND so it blocks out a lot of light, it really softens up the image. And to my eyes, a, a single neutral density filter just, it just maintains a better image quality. If you get this magnetic system, uh, there's a magnet that, that screws onto your lens and then onto the back of the filter. You can put them on and off really quickly, no problem. And all these things are gonna be in the description below if you wanna dive in and, and check them out yourself or, or buy some. And the last way I really optimize my production workflow is to really use the custom function settings smartly. On my cameras, I usually set custom function one to be capturing things at 24p and custom function two to capture things at 60p. So I can move between capturing uh, footage in real time to capturing footage with an intent of slowing it down in post really quickly in the flip of a switch. I know all my cameras cameras are set this way where if I'm doing a piece of camera, boom, 24p. If I want to slow something down, boom, 60p. Way faster than digging through the menus. So those are my five tips for speeding up your workflow and working like a video ninja. If you guys have any other questions, leave those in the comments below. If you have any suggestions for future things that you want to learn, also leave those in the comments below. And until uh, next time, don't forget to subscribe, share, like it. Ride bikes, travel, and do good. See ya.